are finally here. It's happening. GSL versus the world. I taste it's going to be his. As usual, our toasters, but we have a few other very special guests. Roder Nam in control. Guys, welcome. It's good to be here, Korea, the mecca of StarCraft, and an awesome event to celebrate the world of StarCraft, even. That's right. Incredibly happy to be here. It feels so good. Studio looks awesome. We've got an awesome lineup. Now I understand why you guys are always such happy nerds, because I'm feeling it. We are living the dream out here, man. It's gonna, it's kind of weird that we're now up here with four guys at the desk. We've never done this before, but this is going to be cool. We're going to be rotating in and out, cast repairs throughout the GSL versus the world, so you guys get a pretty good mix of what's going on. Yeah, we're the good. They're the pretty good. It should be a fun, you know, a good mixture of people kind of bringing it in there. The expertise. Yeah. I, I'm just excited to have you guys here. I mean, it, for the past seven, eight years, it's just been me and this guy, and... <laughs> You know, to, to it's run its course. I, yeah. You know, it's and run its course. Finally, we get to see on Reddit, which oh my God, this duo was so good this weekend. Give it up for Tasis and In Control. <laughs> you know, it's it, it's going to be something like that. I can't wait to read about that. It's going to be fantastic. But I mean, this is such a hype tournament too. Yeah. Like even just walking in today when we saw these banners. Oh my God, it's been a while since we've had a tournament like this. Yeah. Speaking of the tournament, we actually are going to show you guys what the brackets are going to look like, so you know what to expect. Over the next four days, um, as you can see here, it's going to be four days right in a row. We got a lot of money on the line, and uh, don't forget that on the final day, it's not going to be at the GSL studio. We're actually going to be at Gungi University. Uh, definitely show up early because we do fill up pretty quickly. Oh, there's no doubt about that, and that is a special last day as well. We're going to have a big team match. Uh, both sides really going at it, bringing out their best, and of course it's going to have a couple team captains in there that's really fun with Stefano and ST, and then of course the grand finals of this bracket stage, which we'll be going through for the next three days. Yeah, huge honor. I think when we look at both sides of this, once again, the storyline is very simply put, the Koreans are so powerful, so dominant, especially in Korea, that's even in the introduction, but for me, as always, I'm really excited to see which one of these world representatives can step up to the plate and give us a challenge, give us some, make a deep run. I mean, need we still talk about it to this day, him winning a tournament in Korea. That's a huge deal. And we have the talent to do that, but man, are they facing a tough roster. As you guys can see, it is a single elimination tournament. So each day we're gonna be knocking out half the players that we see here. So eventually we do get to that final match, uh, which I'm really looking forward to. Also, you can see with our map pool, we've got some older maps and some newer ones here as well. Yeah, mixing up the circuit maps with the GSL maps, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Some of those new ladder maps in there, of course. And I mean, this is this is a dream come true. This tournament, guys, this is going to be just awesome. Yeah, I've barely casted any games so far on Mac Depot, Acolyte, so that's going to be a lot of fun as well. And then obviously, Ascension to Iron and Odyssey are the two maps everybody embraced from last season. And then, uh, well, we've got a couple of old school maps as well with New Kirk and. Will win. Why not, guys? Why not? How, how much do you guys want to bet we're not going to see 